Happy Cinco de Mayo, everyone. Um, if you are new here, hi, my name is Dimple. Subscribe to my channel. If you're returning subscribers, you already know what to do, gang. Let's get into it. All right, you guys, so we're back from the store. As you can see, got some So, you guys, what I'm going to do we also have to wash today. Um, I'm gonna put this stuff up and then I'm going to start on prepping the food. Oh my goodness. But yeah, y'all, I'm gonna start prepping the food and stuff, getting it marinated and stuff like that. It's kind of early in the day. So, I'm going to like just put the stuff out that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna let it sit and marinate while it's um not frozen and stuff and prep everything else. And then I'll get right back to you guys. Alrighty you guys, so here are some of the ingredients that are out. These are the avocados that we only got today. This is for the quesadillas. Um, quesadillas, got a lime. We got the um, chips for the salsa for the beef tacos, for the quesadillas, for the um, chicken and bacon quesadillas. This is the one I got. My wood, these are the ingredients, you guys. You know, the blend, for you to blend, the peppers, the and stuff. And of course, sour cream. So you guys, these. All right, y'all, so, um, oh, I forgot to show you guys. The taco shells. So um, this is all the ingredients. I'm going to go take a shower because I've been moving around all day. I'm very tired as you guys can see. And um, after I get out the shower, I'm gonna start cooking and we're gonna get the party started. I haven't eaten anything all day. So I am starving you guys. So see you guys in a bit. And guys, I forgot to let you guys know I'll be using a cayenne pepper just to spice it up just a little bit. Um, my babies are gonna be eating too. I'm gonna use the taco seasoning out of here, but you know, it really doesn't have any flavor. So these are my ingredients to add some flavor um, into the dishes or whatever. And um, yeah, I forgot to show you guys the cayenne pepper. I will be using cayenne pepper as well. I'm not gonna use any paprika, so I'm gonna put this back, I already had it out, because I'm using the taco seasoning and the sazon and all it already has it in there. Um, and the oregano, you guys, my bad, I'm sorry. I'm just so tired, y'all, and the oregano. I don't have any cumin, um, that'll be fine, but this is what I'm working with, you guys, right here. So these, or all of the ingredients, guys. All of the ingredients. I'm gonna use the party tray to pull the chips inside of. I don't have no fancy pans, no fancy trays or anything like that. The same thing from Easter that I used for the cookie platter. I'm just gonna pour the chips inside of here. All right, you guys, I had to snatch that wig off and we're gonna start cooking. I got my stuff out. I'm just gonna set you guys up. I'm not gonna be talking through it. I'm just gonna let you guys see what I'm doing. And yeah, so let me set y'all up right now. Um, took a shower, changed it up, had to snatch that wig off. I've been outside all day, it's hot, whatever. We forget get to cooking, let's go. So you guys, I'm gonna start off by Oh, I'm not going to use the whole pack of meat. I'm just going to use like only three of them. I'm going to begin to wash the chicken, you guys, and then begin to prep it. Um, I'm going to be using seasoning for...
and now for the ground beef you guys i was planning on only using half of this pack of ground beef but it was a lot of chips and it was a lot of taco shells so i'm knowing once the chips or anything go out um it was going to be enough chips and taco shells left to for the everyone to use to eat with the ground beef so i just ended up cooking the entire pack you guys <laughs> So now it's fun time with the bacon and I know a lot of people gonna be like, it's hot, it's bacon, you're using your fingers. Like once you're used to, you know, cooking, if you're always in the kitchen, this wouldn't, you know, this ain't nothing you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna use a little bit of vegetable oil. The pan is already hot. The stove been already preheating, you guys. So I'm gonna start cooking the chicken. I'm gonna sear them on both sides first for like three minutes, just to get like a hard crust, like, you know, the crust on the sides of them. And then just put the lid over it um, to let the insides finish cooking for the chicken bacon quesadillas y'all and all that extra seasoning i scraped it off and put it inside of there all righty you guys so i'm going to show you what i'm going to be doing with this lime here i also put some lime juice on the chicken and just let it sit i put it on low heat and just let it simmer it with some lime juice and i'm going to cut up cut open this avocado and i will be putting some lime juice like i told you guys before if you go watch my previous videos um in order to keep the limes fresh i mean the avocado is fresh you guys all you have to do is use lemon or lime juice and yeah that's what i use the lime for <music> So now I'm starting to begin to make the quesadillas. I got the chicken out. I got the bacon ready. Everything is prepared. And um, this is, I want to say like my second or third time trying to do a quesadilla. This is my first time try doing it the way that I'm going to show you guys right now. I'm usually doing it the um, regular way with just flipping it in half. I did a few of them like that after the fact. You guys won't, um, I don't have the footage for that to show you guys. But this is me assembling, assembling 
assembling have you y'all know what i'm trying to say this is me putting together the quesadilla and cooking it okay and y'all help me out in the comments y'all know the word that i was trying to say y'all and i also use that nacho queso dip as you can see on it and y'all this was so good so these taco shells are fresh out of the oven um and here is the infamous quesadillas these are the little ones that i made for my babies no jalapenos it's not that much spice and they were delicious and these are the ones with the jalapenos you guys 10 out of 10 bussin so here is the mangoes with the tahine um chamoy sauce and lime this is a mexican dish as well those are fruits and again here's me assembling my tacos yeah So that's it. That's all for um, today's video. I will see you guys tomorrow in my next video. And yum. The food is done. The food is made. Everything was delicious. The kids loved it. And of course, I didn't put no jalapenos in my kids. It was only for the adults. And yeah, I'm going to add a few clips. Um, make sure you guys follow me on all my social media platforms. They are in the description box below. Especially Instagram. Cinco de Mayo. Um, was fun. Um, to all of my Mexicans out there, I don't have to be Mexican to celebrate Cinco de Mayo. Sorry, but anyways, happy um Cinco de Mayo, and I'm gonna go eat. I'm gonna go chill. I'm gonna go turn up and have fun. And listen to my Selena's, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave a like and a comment down below and share. Bye.